Well, many college students are back to school and a new global study is shining the spotlight on mental health among those students. Krem 2 Health reporter Rose Belt sits down with the associate dean of the WSU Medical School to find out how they're addressing this issue. They're moving to medical school, transitions. I never, if you've been in a new place before, meeting new friends, finding a new apartment, new social networks. College can be challenging on many levels. A worldwide study surveyed almost 14,000 college freshmen from 19 colleges in eight industrialized countries, including the United States. Students filled out questionnaires to evaluate common mental disorders, including major depression, generalized anxiety disorder, and panic disorder. The results were published by the American Psychological Association this week. Researchers found that one in three students reports dealing with a mental health condition. Many high achieving students don't recognize the stress they are actually under. There's a scale that we often use in medical school that lists different life events and they're by points. So a death in a family, moving, uh, relationships. And I had students fill those out and some of them don't realize I have six or seven of these in my life. I just didn't realize that that's there. The study authors say these numbers show that mental health is a global issue and colleges must take a greater urgency in addressing the problem. The medical school faculty at WSU tackles stress and life work balance at the beginning of the school year. We sort of map out the stressors that they are going to face in medical school. So we try to learn from the undergraduate level of different mental health conditions and mental health as a stigma and really try to debunk those as they come into medical school and really provide resources for them early on rather than wait for them to get in trouble. They hope their approach will help students successfully manage stress for life. What we've come up with is a 10-year individual success plan for every student. So not just when they're medical school, but really planning beyond um, medical school and residency. Mortgage, debt repayment, retirement, buying a house, having a family. Early research shows that only 15 to 20 percent of undergraduate students don't think they need help and won't get it. Sometimes they don't understand what the researchers are for. Counselors are not just for crisis. It's really helping them think about their study behavior. They don't realize all these little things that really pile up and create a lot of anxiety can be addressed little by little. Even though the study tracked freshman students, this information is helping undergraduate and graduate level programs to be proactive and work together. Even if we talk about suicide, making it in the open, these are issues that we need to address, not just in, as students, but as people. There's a stigma ab about that and making sure that people understand that this is something that we have to address as a community and it's okay to seek help, just like you would if you had a physical injury. Rose Belts, Crime 2 News.